Hi guys, this is a lecture extract for the introduction um, to C++ as part of a range of game development modules. Um, and in this video we're going to smoke test our environment by running Visual Studio 2019 and the Hello World program. And once we've done that in a different, in a series of different videos, we're going to consider um, syntax and, and depending on how the lectures and tutorials run, we might do a blend of live and pre-recorded material. So once you are running Visual Studio 2019 um, in the labs, these are already installed. If you're doing it at home, then you'll need to download and install it. You might see something like this, you'll need to create a new project. You'll need to select console app and click next. You then, then need to select the name of the project. For us, it's going to be Hello World. And make sure the location is set for the C drive, particularly if you're using university machines because the network drives, um, well, Visual Studio doesn't like network drives. And it will go away and build this for us. You can safely remove all these comments and just leave this. Control S for save, as with many IDEs. And once you've saved it, you can run, which will hopefully, if everything was done correctly, will print Hello World to the terminal, which you can close. Now, what we're interested in is also taking input. Um, producing an output from your program is a very powerful tool to um, learn on the first day because we'll need to know quite a bit uh, about how our program is running. And we also want to be able to take some input from the user so we can modify our program at runtime. And to do that, we'll need to include string. In the first year, you would have done Java, which means you know Java imports. Uh, conceptually, hashtag includes are like Java imports. Implementation-wise, they're completely different. So just keep that in mind for now. And like I said, I'm not going to go over any of the syntax in this video. We're just testing if everything works. So uh, if you could just copy everything verbatim and see it running, that's fine for this video. Right, we want, uh, well, first of all, we want our string declared. Let's call it input. We're going to use get line function to get our input into, you know, uh, into our input. And then we're just going to print the input that we got. We can just say we got, and then the input. And technically, we should return a zero because we've said that this function returns um, a value of type int. So now we can see our hello world, which is the very first line. Then we've declared our input. Uh, then we got the input, which I'm going to do now. Hi. And then it's going to print we got and then whatever it is that you typed. So if you've produced all of that and it works, then that's great. You don't need to do anything else. If you got some errors, then you'll probably need um, to talk to me to figure out what the errors are. And then we can fix them either in the labs or um, online. And in the future videos, we're going to go over part of the syntax or depending on how the lectures are going to work out because we're not yet sure how lectures and tutorials are going to run in terms of um, the mode online, partially online, and things like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.